Hey, it's raining here in Michigan. I ain't been outside yet. I don't know if it's cold or what, but I'm on my way out there. And I want to tell all of you to be happy and safe and enjoy this weekend. It's my baby's baby shower on Sunday, so I'm excited about that. But when you come on in my house, I'll need y'all to push that thumbs up. And for the people that's not being notified, they said check your settings and do all your updates on your phone because it, it could be something wrong with your phone that you're not getting all the updates. So I need y'all to check all that and make sure you push all notifications. Please make sure you push all notifications because if you just push some, you don't get all. And I'm part of the all, okay? How you doing? How you doing, Scorpio mama? Um, I want to take a moment to talk about Kevin Samuels. Do who know Kevin Samuels? I know you I know everybody ain't came in the house yet. But I, I just want people to tell me who know Kevin Samuels, the late Kevin Samuels. Cause I want to talk about him. And I want to talk about Kendra G. Kendra G, she is the new age Kevin Samuels. She started off against Kevin. It's even on YouTube where she called into the Kevin Samuels show and they were arguing. So she was going against Kevin at first. She was one of the ones, how you go tell a woman what she don't desire, what she can't have and what she don't deserve. Now she is Kevin Samuels. And Corey Holcomb, I mean, he gave her the business the other day. He said, you stole Kevin whole show. You was against Kevin, now you, you Kevin. I want to say something in Kendra G defense. Not because I'm a woman, not because I'm black. I want to just say something in her defense because somebody came at me like that. You liked Monique, now you don't like Monique. Or oh, you a hypocrite. Let me tell y'all this. I give people the benefit of the doubt. I start off trying to find a reason to like you and why you're saying what you're saying before I go against you. I get it. I say, I get it. I know why she's saying it. Okay. She calling him daddy. Okay. He's her protector. Yeah. I'm glad. Thank you. We, he's all our daddy. I did a video like that, right? And then every day I cut on TV, I see Monique and daddy. Monique talking about her son. Monique talking about Dio. Monique, Monique talking about Kevin Hart. Monique talking about Oprah. Monique talking about Tyler. Monique talking about Steve Harvey. It kept going on and on and on. Miss Lorraine, I'm sorry. I was supposed to inbox you. I totally forgot. It goes on and on and on to the point it's overbearing. Now, the person I liked before, I'm starting to push away from it because I don't like drama. Now I see all these people can't be wrong and you're right, Monique. All these people cannot constantly be doing something to you. And I'm starting not to like daddy either because you're famous. He's not. We want to see Monique talk. We don't need to see your manager slash daddy on every dang on podcast just about every woman and man have a mate it's no need for them to be right by their side every time they go live because now it's getting overwhelming because he talk more than she's talking we don't know daddy that's your daddy that's not our daddy and then women jump in in her defense well i don't think it's nothing wrong with a woman calling her husband daddy see this is what kevin Samuels was talking about y'all so I'm going to jump on his defense real quick. This is what he was talking about. Women, some reason, don't know what it means to be a chameleon. Y'all do not realize. And let me, let me change that. Some, some women, if it don't apply, let it fly. If I'm not talking about you, I'm not talking about you. Because I had to learn. You have to learn to be a chameleon. Do y'all know what that means? That means it's a time and place and order in everything in this life. You cannot be loud, ghetto, fire, ignorant at work. You can't curse at church. You can't be loud in a hospital. It's just different things. You have to learn to adapt to your environment. That's a, a chameleon. So, Monique... What you say behind closed doors is no need to say in public. 
We don't need to hear you say daddy a thousand times in a video. Because what you're doing is you're pushing your fans away because you're coming off as being controlled, weak. And he's he seems like he's your pimp now. I don't know how she view it, but when you say somebody raising you when you 50, what, eight, how old is Monique? 56 years old. You telling this man raising you and you a senior citizen. What is he raising you to do that you didn't know how to do? You have four kids. You you don't know what well, three. You don't know. No, she had three. Three. That's hers. You don't know what it requires to be a woman. How this man going to teach you how to be a woman when he's not a woman? Why would a man want a woman that don't know how to be a woman? Something is wrong with him if he have to take a woman that's broken and try to fix her. But all he doing is taking a weak woman and he's playing on her mental state. And Monique don't even see it. So when people say, Nina, you fake, you like Monique. I still like Monique, but I don't like weak women. Flat out, I don't. I don't get down like that. If you ain't trying to better yourself... You know, everybody going through something. But if you're not trying to better yourself and become a better you, I ain't got time for that. I don't want no parts of it. This is why I don't like people saying I'm a victim. No, you know, you victorious. Why do you want to claim to be weak to anything? I get tired of people saying I'm a victim. Why do you want to be a victim? Why do you want to claim that, okay, you was victimized. Okay, say that. You was victimized. Now you're victorious. You don't need to put that on your shirt. I'm a victim. Tell the world I'm a victim. No, you tell people I'm a survivor. I'd be damned if I allow this man to, or woman to keep victimizing me. I would not wear that as a badge of honor. And that's what a lot of people do. When they get victimized, they want everybody to know they're a victim. How long are you going to stay in that mentality? But back to Kendra G. And, and um, Kevin Samuels. Kendra went from protecting women, saying, women deserve this, I'm a woman, hear me roar, to now, she's changing her mind. This is why people think I'm harsh. They think I'm judgmental, they think I go against women, and, they, and the first thing a woman do, especially a black woman, let me tell you, when you dare to say something negative that's really true, you the arch enemy. If you dare to try to correct a black woman, oh, you are the worst thing walking. They start trying to tear you down from your appearance to your children because they don't want to face reality. Kendra G finally realizing what Kevin Samuel said to her years ago was really true. Now, a lot of things Kevin said I didn't agree with. I don't like people putting a value on somebody's life because you're not God, Kevin. Rest, rest in peace. I didn't like that when he said you are low value, high value. I don't believe money make you valuable. I also didn't understand why these women who knew he was going to dog them call into his show to get mentally abused and then say He's a narcissist. He's crazy. Why are you calling this man? You know what he's going to say to you. To me, that's mental illness. Why would I call somebody I know for to degrade me? Just to tell him the kind of man I'm looking for. Is he Jesus' secretary? Was, was Kevin Samuels Jesus' secretary? Why do you need to tell him what kind of man you're looking for? But you did it, okay? And he judged you. And I'm going to tell y'all, whoever don't know about Kevin, I'm going to tell you a little bit what he used to say. Just say, I'll call. He said, okay, go ahead. What's your name? My name is Nina. How old are you? I'm 54. How many kids you have? I have four kids. How old are they? 31, 30, 25, and 17. I have four grandkids, one on the way. Well, what kind of man are you looking for, Nina? I'm looking for a high-value man. He got to have millions of dollars. He got to be six, at least six figures. You know, I don't want him to have no kids. I want him to have a nice car. I want him to fly me all over the world. Do that sound realistic? This is what these women used to say. Do that sound realistic? So Kevin say, 
Why do you think you deserve that kind of man? Because I'm the prize. I'm that shit. I'm a, I'm a beautiful woman. I know what I have to offer. What do you have to offer? I have a PhD. Um, I got my own house. I got my own car. You know that song. So Kevin will say, that makes you grown. You supposed to have them things. What makes you think you deserve a man with all those things? Why shouldn't I? Why, why you don't want this man to have kids? Because I ain't got time for nobody else's kids. But you got four, Nina. So? This is what these women used to say. Don't that sound totally ridiculous? You calling into a show and you telling this man, I want a man that has all these things, but I don't have none of those things. How many times y'all done heard me say in my videos? How are you expecting somebody to give you something that you're not even qualified to give yourself? How are you expecting somebody to treat you better than you've been treating yourself? Have you ever flown yourself all over the world? Have you ever had a million dollars at one time? Where is your baby father? That's what he at. Where is this? Is what Kendra say now? Where your baby daddy's at? Why you went out of them? Oh, we grew apart. Why? Why did you wait till you get four babies, Nina, to grow apart from their father? Oh, it just didn't work out. So you want this new brother to have all these requirements that you didn't make the baby daddy have to be a part of your life because you the shit. Why he didn't know you was the shit? He didn't left babies there. Now this new man who got the money, who's stable. Go come in your life and he the clean up man. I'm the clean up man. You mentally distraught. Your body probably out of shape. You got four kids. You probably got bad credit. I'm supposed to be the clean up man. This is why he said your value goes down because now you got baggage hanging on you. You got all these problems hanging on you. And this brother, he doing the damn thing. He rich. That mean. He had options. I just want people to understand this. Why would a man who makes six figures or more, good credit, well put together, smell like kink the oil, why would he stop at you with four kids by another man who got all these issues? You ghetto, five, big mouth, and I deserve this, and I'm a queen. Why would he stop at you and wife you up? All these women out here in the world, more than half don't have kids. A lot of them got the same kind of money he have. Beautiful models. Why would he stop at you? This is why a lot of women are single because they expecting stupid shit out of the world. How do you expect something from a man that you never had. You never had a man like that. All a man need to do is ask a woman. What was your last boyfriend job? That nigga didn't work. He just got out of jail. Do we pay child support? His broke ass ain't paying shit. So what do you expect in a man? I, res I respect. Respect. A man with a good job. I want to be wined and dined. I want to be spoiled. Then you just said your last man didn't have nothing. Yeah, and I ain't going through that no more. So you want me to come into your life right now, and you want me to have all them things, but this deadbeat didn't have to have nothing. Then you got the audacity to tell me I got to wait for sex. You have four kids running around here, snotty nose, bad, out of control cussing, and I got to wait to touch you and take care of you. And this brother right here down the street making more babies with no job. So you telling me a brother that's straight out of the penitentiary with nothing. Can get more booty than me. Instantly. I think really. Women don't know what they want. Because one minute you say you want a thug. Then you get a thug. You had a baby's by the thug. He wear you out mentally tear you down. Now you want a rich thug. You still want a thug but you want him to be rich. Because when you get someone. Like Sierra's. Um, the singer Sierra. What's her husband's name? When you get a husband like him, you still all on Instagram and TikTok and you flash your body around. You still arguing with your baby daddy all over the internet. Russell, Russell, um, 
what's his Russell? I forgot Russell last name. But you still doing all, Russell loves Sierra. He came into her life with no children, and she had a little boy, and she had a little boy by the rapper Future, and Future had what about six kids? She left him because he was Future left Sierra, as I was told. So he came and picked Sierra up. She had been with Fifty Cent. She had been with Bow Wow. She had been with Future. Look at her track record. All the dudes she been with. Some entertainers that dogged her. She she me Russell. He sweep her off her feet like Romeo. They got three babies. Her son by Future is like he is. He been arguing with Future. He, it's to the point now. He told Future, "I wish you would, nigga." I've been quiet. You think because I'm quiet, I'm scared? Try me if you want to. So now it's getting serious with them. Because Sierra still playing games. She got this good husband. And she can't keep her body off the internet. She ain't got to do nothing but wake up. He bought her a mansion. A brand new 30-something million dollar mansion after her last baby she just had two months ago. Future was taking stuff from her. Future was misusing her. He bought her a mansion. He spoils her and them kids. He opened her a boutique that she wanted. Here, baby, you ain't got to sing no more. You ain't got to do nothing. And if you sing, I support you. What she do? She get on the red carpet naked. And you can see all her goodies. She don't even respect her good husband that she cried, plead, and prayed for. She don't even respect him. She still got that hood rat mentality. And she got a whole different caliber of kind of man. And don't even know it. So you know what's going to happen? Another woman going to end up with her husband if she don't stop. And she going to be back over there with future. You can take a woman out the streets. But you can't take the streets out the woman. She still crying out for that attention but she'll tell people i'm a queen i get tired of black women lying to black women saying that we all queens all of us are not queens ladies all of you not qualified to be a queen because you're black don't make you a queen because you black don't make you worthy look at the mayor tiffany henyard over there in dalton illinois Is she a queen no, she is Ted Bundy's little cousin. She's a cray-cray. She need a helmet on. I, I'm not claiming some folks. Just because they the same complexion, I'm not claiming some folks. But see, like Kendra said, she said 85% of her hate. Now, didn't I say this, y'all? Please, whoever been following me. I need y'all to get my likes up real quick. But whoever been following me, didn't I say this? How many times I've said this? Look at my old videos. I made videos about this. 85% of her hate on her show comes from black women. Didn't I say that? So y'all thought it was me tripping. Kendra G goes through the same kind of hate from her sisters. But we are the same sisters y'all want us to take up for you and call you a queen when you sit here and hate on us disrespect us i know what you do to a man if if you can't be a friend to me i know what you gonna do to a man then you gotta judge people like this you got a friend that cheat this for men or women you got a friend that cheat do things to their spouse you should know right there, they cannot be a faithful friend. If you can't be faithful to the person that you have children by, that help you pay bills, that lay with you every night, damn it, you will stab me in the back real fast. They letting you know that's their character. You got to be careful who you have in your vicinity. My mother always told me, ain't no such thing as a friend. That's why I don't deal with females, man. For real, on a daily basis. Mm -mm, if I'm not mentor you on a, and I'm not on business, we can't kick it like that. Because it's a, it's a handful of real women. And what I mean by that, when I made that video yesterday about Monique, the fake women came out. Uh-uh. You fake. See, that's that. How many black girls on here right now? How many times you been in school, high school, junior high school, and it's clicks? They got these clicks. If you say anything gets that click, uh-uh, we ain't messing with her. She fake because she ain't going along what we doing. 
It could be totally wrong. They could say we stealing cars this weekend and you say no. Uh-uh, we ain't messing with that bitch. Black women got these little cliques. And if you don't go along with their agenda, you ain't shit to them. And I'm sick of it. So, and Kendra G. Defense. The moral to the story is you may start off trying to, to defend and hold and protect a certain person or people and then they keep shitting on you. You only gonna get slapped in your face so many times. Kendra G starting to see when women call in, they say the most ridiculous shit out their mouth to the point she's saying, hold the hell up. Wait a damn minute. What you just say? So now she's starting to see Kevin Samuels was right because now i'm hearing this shit they calling my show saying it. that's how she feel they saying the dumb ridiculous ass shit on my show i didn't see it that way at first but now i'm the host they calling me and they saying the same thing because the same women that used to call kevin Samuel's show was calling her show so now she getting these dysfunctional ass women that never been healed talking about what they deserve like Lori Harvey let's talk about Lori Harvey oh cute little Lori you know her mama trained her well you know what I'm saying Lori did a whole interview saying I am the prize I can talk and date who I want to I am Lori mother freaking Harvey she don't understand that her value goes down every time we see her on TV with a different man. Because now, Lori, the men that chase you, they may be famous. That don't make them good men. They're only chasing you to see what the hype is. What they, what they getting over there at Lori Harvest? What's going on? These men going running over there. But you got to sign an NDA when you talk to Lori. You're telling you, what, why you got to sign an NDA when you say, Lori, you're not sleeping with these men. See, she can talk to me. I'd be like, you're not sleeping with these men, Lori. Mm-mm, I'm the pride. Why are they talking to you? I know a man. A man ain't for to waste his time. A man ain't for to spend a whole year with you running around all over TV just because you cute. He's screwing something. If it ain't you, he's screwing something. Might be bubbles, but he's screwing something. So tell me, if you're not sleeping with these men, Lori, why they got to sign a disclosure? Explain that to me. Because uh, I don't want them to know, people to know. Now, you, you want to be seen on TV. We see your vacations. We see your modeling together. We see your everyday life, every move you make with your man. We see it. What's the NDA about, Lori? Maybe because you had to hang it from the chandeliers and you giving some super head and licking and tossing salads and shit, but you want people to think you cute little sweet Lori Harvey that don't have sex? Get the hell out of here. Who are you talking to? Especially you laid up with Future. She was with Sierra X-Man. Future. And I know he a dog. She was with Trey Sons. They said Trey Sons swinging from here to Mississippi. He's swinging. You gonna tell me you ain't getting none of that? I'm surprised she ain't been with August Alcina because they said he's working a 12. He's swinging. And he had Jada all upside down. She forgot she was married. And she Jada Smith. So you gonna tell me you with these fine young Medigos. You was with Creed. You was with Creed. What's his name, Michael? fine as wine and allegedly you broke his virginity oh she bragged about that one i broke his virginity but i ain't sleep with i ain't sleep with future and, and trace on them i slept with michael b jordan i ain't sleep with the rest of them michael was a virgin i did him a favor the other ones why y'all think nobody talk about lori harvey when they break up she make them sign a disclosure that she can sue them but what's wrong with them Y'all want some cuckoo that bad that y'all gonna sign a disclosure to get it? And it can't be that good because I don't see nobody losing their mind behind. I don't see nobody care. Lori, I don't see nobody tripping except the last boy who went to the nut house behind you. But I, nobody else, I don't, Michael B. Jordan going about his business. 
He probably said, thank you for breaking me in. Now I can go sling it everywhere. He don't give a damn. But my video is about Kevin Samuels and Kendra G. Why people mad at Kendra? They dogging around. Like she said, 85% is hate. I ain't gonna watch you no more. Don't. I'm just like her. Don't watch me. Because she cussed them out. Don't, damn it, watch me. Why the hell you call Kevin Samuels if you don't like him? Why are you watching Nina if you don't like me? Why are you watching Kendra G? You mentally disturbed if you sitting here telling me you ain't going to watch me, but you watching me while you telling me. Something wrong with you. But you mad when I'm telling you there's something wrong with you. Instead of you taking notes, when you get on a YouTube channel and you read a title, like my title going to be, I don't even know why I'm going to title this video yet. Kevin Samuels was right about a lot of women. Now, you read that title. You click it. Boop. What was she talking about? What's this bitch talking about? You should have a pen and paper. Because it's time to learn something. You should go into a video with an open mind. You should not go into a video ready to go off. You should go in and say, okay, I'm going to give her the opportunity to tell me. Her perspective, what she think about Kevin, and then I'm going to keep an open mind to see if she right or not. I'm not going to go into this video saying, this bitch stupid, and she on Kevin's same side, he dogged women. No, Kevin dogged dumb women. Let's get this straight. He dogged women that lives on Mars. He dogged the kind of women that's walking around. They don't dress like Kanye West, but they mind look like Kanye dressed. Could you imagine that? You know how Kanye walk around looking like he a Martian? That's the kind of mindset they have. These women minds is like a bag of rocks. They want all this man and have all these things, but they can't even hold a conversation. Look at Tiffany Hanger. God blessed her with that position, and this girl can't even have a conversation. She called one of her workers a B. Bitch, if you don't like the way I run my county, this ain't your county. This the people county. What the hell? This this the people village. She thinks she Nino, and she didn't took over the Carter. Did I tell y'all she walked in the courtroom with a fake dog? Oh, somebody knows something. Somebody, if I was in that courtroom, I'm like, I would have did Nino on back on her. I would have stuck her ass in the, in the hand with a fork. If you don't sit your ass down, your $5 ass down, I'm going to make some change. I would have did a Nino back on, sit your ass down. That fake ass dog. I was like, what is wrong with you? Somebody should, everybody's looking at her. No. Mm-mm. I would have been like, somebody go get them people for uh, this girl, this child. Go get them people. Because this girl that lost her damn mind up in here. Walking around with a fake ass dog. You the mayor. Uh, somebody knows something. Yeah, I know something. I know your ass and went over the loony bin. That's what the hell I know. But they sitting there. Then she didn't hire the whole police team to be her bodyguard. I just can't get over that, y'all. I'm been i going to keep y'all updated with her. But she one of the women that Kevin Simons was talking about. And she, guess what? She's a high-value woman. Did, did you, see, you see how that money make you high-value? She's a high-value woman from what she made. She made $300,000 a year. So that's qualified her as a high-value woman. She is on a, a panel of the, what is it, 25 most um, something women in, in, in politics. How did she get on that post? It should have been the 25 most retarded ass folks. Because I don't know how the hell she got on that poster. She the youngest person to ever been a mayor in Dalton. And the first woman in black. So she thinks she qualified to be up there with Malcolm X and Dr. King. She said her picture going to be in the history book right next to Harriet Tubman. Because she didn't freed 200 slaves. I said, who giving this baby crack? Somebody giving this baby crack. Is the chief of police serving her? Somebody her pusher. Because ain't no way in the hell somebody in their right mind would say the shit she said out of her mind. Out of her mouth. Calling. People be talking. Okay, bitch. You got me fucked up. 
you just run the county. That don't mean I got to listen to you like I'm a kid, Tiffany. But see, in her mind, this her shit. This woman said she was giving a million dollar giveaway. I'm blessing the people. And all she did is took the county budget that every county has for the people, for rent, for burial, and claimed it as it was hers. She giving people the stuff that they already paid taxes for and said she giving a giveaway. And y'all got this baby, Polar Tink Tink, running this county. You know what else Tiffany Henry did? I forgot to tell y'all the other day. She was breaking in cars in 2016. She a criminal. Yeah, she was running around with thugs breaking in cars. So now it makes sense when that neighborhood got shot up by them three little thugs. Them probably was the dudes who was running around breaking in cars with her. Them her homeboys. She, look her up. It's public record. She is in trouble for breaking in cars. She have a mug shot and everything. In 2016. That was less than 10 years ago. She was fully grown. She Was she 40 now, I think? So was she late 20s? 30? 30 something? She wasn't no teenager. Guess what else she did? She had a whole relationship. I thought the criminal that she hired, that's the sex offender. S offender, I ain't supposed to say that. I thought that was her man. No, that's her, one of her homeboys, one of her goons. Tiffany Hinger, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois, man, is another woman's husband. She's cheating with a married man. And how they know he married? Because he just refinanced his house with his wife. And that's her man. And she's a single baby mama by another man. And this is the example that you show on little black girls. This is what success look like. People bringing their daughters to Mayor, to Mayor Hendrick, to talk to them, to show them you can do anything you want to do. Yep, you can steal somebody's husband. You can become Nino Brown. You can steal money. You can run a county. You're not qualified. All because you're a black little girl. Because that's all they're showing them kids. If you want to be like Harriet Tubman, no, this is what she's. This woman said last night, Dr. King had a dream, but I am the dream. I said, who got the keys to the bus? Because I'm about to go get her now. Who got the damn keys? Somebody, Miss Lorraine, you got the keys to the bus. You Is the helmet in the back seat? Because we finna go get Tiffany ass. She have lost her everlasting mind. I can't take no more. I, Tiffany making me want to drink. She making me want to drink. But I'm saying this because so many black women... And I'm only can talk about black women. I don't y'all. What about the white women? I'm not. Do, what color am I? The only thing white on me right now you see is my eyeballs. What color am I? I'm brown. I can't talk about the white women. I'm not white. All I can talk about is what I know. I don't know what they go through over there. Yeah, they 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 do school shootings and all kind of stuff too. They got their own crimes. You know, they ain't innocent by far. You know, they, they do dumb ass stuff. They let me use them. They do all that stuff. And they don't want me to get on them because I, I hurt their soul. But I'm talking about us right now. Because I cannot fix the white girls. I can't fix Karen until I fix Shaquanda. This more my problem right now. And y'all need to have reality checks. A lot of y'all saying, I don't want no man. This is what Kendra said the other day. No, no, no. Was it Kevin Samuels? I don't want no man. Because it ain't no good men out here. You don't want no man because there ain't no good men out here. But you stay at the club naked. You keep your hair and nails did. You spend all kind of money on lashes. You go get BBLs. Who you doing all that for? But you don't want no man. You want a man. But the man you want don't want you. Let, let's be real with it. You want a man. So you got to put in your mind until that man come and pick you up. I don't want no man. But as soon as a man holler at you, <laughs> and you time you coming home, you up at three in the morning, a club booty call, baby, you cooking. Oh, yeah, I was just sitting here making bacon and eggs. You was asleep, jumping up, going to cook. But then you just say you didn't want no man. 
You the same woman that giving a man your income tax, but you don't want no man. You the same woman that's cheating with somebody else, man, but you don't want no man. And then you tell people, men ain't no good, but you a side chick. You know why he ain't no good? Because he can have side chicks like you. If you can have a smorgasbord, why you gonna take one steak? I can have all these steaks. So what I'm gonna take one for? You know what make men no good? No good women. A man can't cheat unless he got a woman he cheating with. And then after you the side woman and he treats you like his main woman, like he did her, he cheated on her, and then you become the main woman, he cheated on you. Now you are the victim. I'm a victim. Didn't you just take that hell, that man, that woman husband, and you expected him to be faithful to you? Y'all know how many women I kid you are not right now is with somebody else's husband. They broke up their home and they walk around with the ring on their finger like that. I'm about to get married to that woman husband. How long that man been cheating with you? 10, 20 years. He had a wife the whole time. Now when he get with her, guess what she go expect? Him to be faithful. I can't believe you cheating on me. You was cheating with this man for 20 years. Now he cheating on you and you can't believe it. And you saying you mentally stable. People going to be how you find them. They do send their representative, but the representative leave like after 90 days, the real person go show their face. The representative leave the house. They go. All you have to be around somebody long enough, you will see the representative leave. You probably see it leave their soul. Be like, damn, that go the real person. Mm-hmm. That's why it's, it's good to just really like be around somebody a long period of time. Because when, just say you go visit somebody out of town, you see them for the weekend. They representative show up. They can go home and regroup. Woo, side, cuss out everybody, sleep around, do whatever. And then when you see them again, they revive. The representative come back. But if you just stay with that person for a good month, oh, 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 oh. You'll be like, ah, oh, there you go. It's never sunshine every day. It's always going to be cloudy days. If you with somebody and all they do is <laughs> and they're happy all the time, you is dealing with Michael Myers' little sister. <laughs> Nigga, I would cut your penis off. <laughs> I love you so much. Cray cray. Ain't nobody under the sun happy all the time. We're not made that way. Okay? You have to question somebody that's cheesing all the time. What's behind that smile? This lady is brandy from a thin line. You have a dead rabbit at your front door. That cute little puppy you love will be hanging in front of your door when you open it. These people crazy out here. I'm telling you. I just watched a video. This lady pulled up into a nail shop. The man getting his new woman nails done. He ain't even with this girl no more. Oh, you didn't cut off your, uh, what you call it? On your phone where they can track you. You ain't cut off your tracker, huh? You better start cutting off your tracker. He was like, I ain't even with your ass no more. Are you with this bitch? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to follow you everywhere. Everybody can't handle the penis. And everybody can't handle the vagina. It's me and I here killing women every day. Some people got that crack. See, I don't want to be looking for no brother running around with no flashlight in the daytime. I, I don't want that kind of penis. I don't want that. Mm -mm. I don't want the kind of penis Monique has where I'm sitting on TV like a puppet talking about, yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Oh, yes, preach, daddy. I don't want that kind of penis. Mm -mm. No, I, I, I can't have that. I, I, that's crack. That's some dangerous shit that make you think that he the famous one and you the submissive one that everybody want to see your husband. We don't want to see you. That's some crack. Monique only remembers she's a comedian when she get on stage. When she in, in them videos, she don't even think she's a comedian. She don't know who she is. Daddy in control. He the famous one. 
I don't want the kind of um penis Kevin Hunter got, Wendy Williams' husband, who capable get two wives ten miles from each other, two girlfriend, a wife and a girlfriend, on run two households, lay the pipe at two different houses, and then the next one end up and I ain't trying to be funny about Wendy Williams, end up and lost her mind. Look like she 80 years old behind some penis because most of her illness and I, I'm just gonna be real Y'all don't want to hear this most of Wendy Williams illness came from a broken heart and embarrassment flat out She let herself go from a broken heart and being embarrassed because Wendy Williams got on there And she put Kevin on a pedestal and she thought out everybody else her husband and I guess what Jay-Z doing she uh, how you doing? She dogged out everybody. So she don't want to face the world. This is why Wendy laying up there sick. You can make yourself sick. I'm telling y'all what I know. A lot of people have left this world from a broken heart. So a lot of the stuff Wendy going through, I can look right through her. I'm like, she might have a touch of Alzheimer's. But, but she, you know why I don't think she had Alzheimer's? Because she popped back like this. One minute she talking, next minute she back at Wendy. Give my shit. Give me a drink. So I'm like, I know she got thyroid problems because that show. You can't hide that. Her ankles swell up. She got issues, you know, with water weight and stuff like that. But Wendy wouldn't be as sick as she is if she wasn't thinking about where that penis at. Why y'all think right now she asking for Kevin? She want him to come back. And I guarantee you, if Kevin Hunter go back, we may see Wendy Williams on a podcast. I'm back. I'm doing good. Thanks for the prayers. I'm much better. Because it's about Kevin. Let him go back and watch what happened. Y'all y'all call me out on it. Because they said he want to go back too. Because Sharita, she didn't drain the well dry. She didn't left his ass. She didn't want his big ball headed butt no way. So she gone. So watch when Kevin Hunter go back to Wendy. Because that's what's about to happen. After he didn't deny his son, dog his son out, said he stole money, he go end up back with his wife. He go do an apology, and I, my wife forgave me. They go be like Monique and Daddy on a podcast. We back together, and I want everybody to respect us and our privacy. Watch, and we gonna be like, dang, Wendy look good. She look better now because it's about the penis. How many friends you know? You go over their house right now. They all gray. They don't get dressed. Their house ain't clean. They got all the blinds closed. Girl, you going out? Nah, I don't want to go nowhere. I know you still ain't tripping about your baby daddy. Mm -mm, girl, I ain't thinking about him. I don't want no man, girl. I'm so done with me. They just in the dumps. But soon as they get a man. Oh, they calling you. Girl, y'all turning up tonight. I'm having a party at my house. I'm cooking. And they happy as hell. The penis then came back. So don't let these people fool y'all. Okay. All this, I don't want no man. Yes, you do. Because if you didn't want a man, you saying God is a liar. God made you the only reason a woman exists. Could y'all please somebody pull up the scripture? Sister Sarah, little cousin on here. Could you pull up the scripture? Why did God make a woman? Why did God make a woman? Why, why are we here? What was our whole purpose of being here? Being created. Did God say in the Bible, I want somebody to put the scripture up if you can find this scripture. Is there, is there a scripture where God said, I made a woman to get a PhD, to have kids, and to run her man? Please somebody bring that scripture up because I want to read it. I made a woman to die alone with her pets pet opinions and say i don't need no is that please bring the scripture up or did he say look at poor little tink tink over there running around looking stupid adam look at adam jesus do you see this what is he doing he over there talking to a tree i gotta do something he messing up everything he don't know how to cook he don't know how to clean he in the world by himself. We got to get him a companion. Go over there and put him in a deep sleep. Take his rib. Because I want 
the person that I make for him to be in his image. You know, I want him. I want her to have her to have a part of him. And we gonna call her one man. That's what I want to do. Go put him to sleep because he, he messing up everything. Take his rib. Give it to her. But I don't want you to just make her any kind of way. I want you to create her. I, I want you to have her have the slanted eyes. The pretty lips. I want her to have some breasts. Some nice breasts for this food. I want her to have the curves and the butts. Oh, you know what else we go give him? We go top it off. Give her a vagina. Give her that good thing. Yeah, he need a good thing. And then I want them to recreate. I want them to populate the nation. I'm making him just for a man. I'm making her just for a man. That's what I want a woman just for a man. And y'all go come here and say, I don't want no man. When God made you just for Adam, he created you just for Adam. He didn't say I created you for Susan, Karen, Lori, Shaniqua, Shaniqua. He said, Adam. Am I lying? And then he said, a man can't live on bread alone. Our purpose is to have companionship. A human is supposed to have companionship. Where we go wrong, we expect people to be inhuman. Now, I don't see nowhere in the Bible where he said, you will get a perfect husband. You'll get a perfect wife. You'll get a perfect girlfriend. I don't see that part. He said that we're sinners. So expect people to see it. Even though I see a lot of brothers say this. I was talking to a brother for about a couple days because he said he was done with women. He want me to believe, and this is what a lot of men want people to believe. Let me talk about you men for a minute. God didn't make a man to be with one woman. That's not natural. Because back in the biblical days, they had several wives. Yeah, that's back in the biblical days. This is what I said to him. I said, okay, be that as it may, my brother. Mm-hmm. Why do you even want several women? If you having a headache with this one, you can't control this one. You can't pay the child support for the kids that that one have from you. What makes you desire several women when your penis ain't doing nothing for this one? You want to have a threesome when you ain't even capable of having a onesome. But you want several women. The biggest lie ever told about Africans. That they can have all these extra wives. I talked to those brothers. You know what they told me? They forefathers, their uncles and stuff, they had several wives. One of them, father had a hundred wives. Grandfathers. But guess what? They have to be rich. You know why they got to be rich? Because each woman got to have their own dwelling and you got to take care of each one of them homes. Now, if you capable of taking care of each wife and slaying penis to a hundred women, go ahead, brother, do your thing. You Superman. Go ahead. We love you. But the average man can't do that. So that don't apply to everybody. That's why they made it illegal in the United States because men was all willy-nilly jumping house to house having babies. They still do it. Having babies at all these houses and leaving these women for the government to take care of. But you want several women, but the government feeding your kids. And yes, they feeding your kids. If your kids get food stamps right now, you're not taking care of your child. I'm just letting you know right now, the white man that you don't like is feeding your kids. If you get your baby mama get food stamps, that white man that you hate is feeding your kids. Make that make sense. I hate white people. I hate the government. I hate this and that. So what if the government say, I hate your ass too. Cut off everything. He don't like us. That household over there, cut his shit off. What would you do? 
What would you do? You ain't even capable of taking care of your own kids. He feeding you. Master still feeding you. I'm glad I had the daddy I had. I didn't see a food stamp. I didn't see a Medicaid. I didn't see no Section 8. My father worked for everything we had. We had Blue Cross, Blue Shield. He paid cash for our food. We couldn't even borrow nothing from the neighbors. The kind of father I had. That's when you a man. When ain't nobody taking care of your kids but you. I don't care if you is with her, uh, the mama or not. You're capable of taking care of your babies. That's when you a man. You can't call your, I'm a man. You're going to respect me. How am I going to respect you as a man if you ain't seen your kids in two years? You don't even know if your kids are alive. The lady in Detroit, y'all, she killed two of her kids, put them in the freezer. She doing life right now. I'm going to start doing stories like this. She showed out in court. You know why? Because she said they wanted to get the other kids that were still living. She turned around and looked at them. She said, yeah, I killed them. And she said, I don't want them to have my kids because they some dead beasts. My kids been dead two years, and these Negroes didn't even know their kids was dead. She told some truth that day. Everybody told me that lady was crazy. She was crazy for what she did, but she had much sense. She felt like, ah, oh, you don't, you a good father. Then I blame the school system. I blame the neighbors. How do two kids come up missing for two years, and y'all don't know they gone? A witness to a lot of these kids, young women that I mentor, and, and family members, and myself. A father could disappear out of a household, and you don't see him for months on end. He don't call for birthdays because he broke. He don't. You can ask him right now. You can walk up to some of these fathers and say, "I'll give you a million dollars right now. A million dollars. Here it is, right now. Tell me who your your, uh, your kid's teacher is. I give you a million dollars right now." They don't even know. They don't even know what school their kids go to. They don't know if their kids going to school safe. They don't know if they get art in the house by mom or boyfriend. They don't know what's going on with their children at all. And they over there playing house with somebody else. And this is why I blame women. This is where I blame a lot of women. Y'all open the door. To these deadbeat brothers. Could y'all get my likes up, please? You never ever once ask him, why you don't have your kids over? When last time you seen your kids, your children? Why you don't call your children? Everything ain't about money. You don't have money. Just get them over and have a weekend with them. Y'all don't want them kids to come over there. Don't even care because you too busy playing house with somebody else, baby daddy, that didn't want their own kids. And you think he finna be a good father to your kids? That's his representative, girl. That's his representative. Why do you think your kids come in there complaining? Mama, Junior in there eating all the cereal. I ain't got time to be here now. You and Junior need to stop. Junior become one of your kids. Mama, Junior ate all the snacks in there, and I told him you bought it from us. Junior, why you eat my kids' snacks? i buy some more. Junior, one of the kids in the playing the video game. Then you looking at your light bill. You hollering at your kids for leaving lights on, and it's Junior who been sitting there while you at work playing the video game all day with his boys. But you hollering at the kids. Putting them on punishment because they forgetting to cut off a light. It's really Junebug and his friends that's sitting in your house all day. But you don't want no man. And then when that man leave, now you're on Kendra G. And you telling them, I want a man to make six figures. He got to have a Mercedes Benz and a Bentley. He got to be at least six feet. I want to fly all over the world. He got to pay my bill. He got to have A1 credit. So is your credit good? No, my credit is 400. That's why I need somebody with good credit. So how tall is your baby daddy? He was 4 foot 11. But you want this man to be 5'6'10". Okay. He got to have pretty teeth. Didn't your baby daddy have rotten teeth? Yeah, I got tired of looking at them teeth. He got to have good hair. Didn't your baby daddy have a sunroof up here? It's a sunroof in his... I, Oh, he got a sunroof and a moonroof. I seen that. He got sunroof. But this man, he got to have a full hair of hair. Okay. 
So, so what you bring to the table? I am the table. I can't believe these women. I am the table. You know what? If you go past a weak table and you kick the leg, it's going to fall. What keeps you strong and standing? That's why I said women need to stop asking me, what do you bring to the table? I, I hate that. No, 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 no. I had to change the narrative. I had to change the way I was thinking about life. I got tired of asking men what they bring to my table. Because I had my own fork, my own knife, my own spoon, my own plate, my own food. I don't need you to bring nothing to my table. See, this is what y'all don't understand. I don't need you to bring nothing to my table. The question you should be asking a man, ladies, is where your table at? When can I come to your table and sit down? Let me bring something to your table. And then sometimes you can come over and eat at my table. Let me come lay in your bed sometimes. Won't you pick me up for the movies? Stop asking them what they bring. See what they have that match what you have to make y'all a whole. But don't expect somebody to have all these high expectations when you haven't even reached them yourself. Then I hear women say this. He broke my self-esteem. He made me feel like nothing. I love when Kevin Samuel said that. He said, uh, 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 you sound stupid. Can nobody control your feelings but you? That's yours. How you take my self-esteem? How you take something that's yours? How you hurt your feelings? That's your feelings. The only way somebody can do something that's yours or take something that's yours is if you give it to them. Here you go. Here go my self-esteem. Here go my feelings. Here go my body. Here we go. You have to dig deep inside of you and know your worth, but don't. Let, let me see how I can put this. You can't take a Cadillac that's a, a 2006, 17 years old, and value it as a 2024. You got to know it's worth and it's value. It's still good. It runs. It's pretty and everything, but it's a 2006. So I can't sell it for what I sell a 2024 for. So I'm, what I'm saying, ladies, if you got baggage, you got a lot of kids, you got bad debt, you got trauma, and here come a beautiful girl out of college, body nice, she ain't even got no BBL, just pretty. She got a little education, she well spoken, she well put together. What make him not pick her and pick you? Stay, stay, stay where you need to be. You couldn't even handle a high value man anyway. I'm letting you know right now. I have one. You know what comes with a high value man? A whole lot of headaches and problems and a whole lot of options. You think a high value man go settle down with somebody else's baggage and be happy? It might happen. Very rare. And the ones that do it, you better check his uh, health records. He might have HIV. He might be halfway in the grave. He just looking for somebody to take care of him. You better check his health records. Because most high-value men, they out here sowing their raw oaks. They slinging penis everywhere. I know, Leon, and I know my sound didn't went out. My sound went out. It's going to take a minute for my sound to come back in. Leon called me. And my sound and went out. Can y'all hear me? I know Miss Lorraine. Leon. Leon called me. This is your girl, Nina. I gotta go. My sound and went out. Talk to y'all later. Can you hear me? Mr. Rain, push yes. Or no. Let me know if you can hear me. Because when somebody call me, my sound goes out. And I have... Okay.
Thank you. Some reason my, my song go in and out. I don't know what's wrong. And I have an iPhone 15. That's why I said I don't care about these damn phones. They all lies. Like a lot of people. They lie too much. They look good. They ain't shit. That's how this phone is. Pay all this money for these phones. They ain't doing nothing more than the damn iPhone 2. But it's your girl Nina from Breakable Strong Woman. I just want to take up for Kendra G today because people are dogging her. Oh, now she want to be like Kevin. No, she's starting to realize what Kevin was saying was a lot of truth. You can start believing something and somebody prove you wrong. Yeah, you go, you go, a fool go stay somewhere when they see something ain't right. I can love a club. I go to a club and I don't go out. But I, I'm loving this club. I'm having a good time. The, every time I go there, every weekend is a shooting. Now I don't like that club no more. But I thought you liked the club. No, it's too dangerous. Too much drama. We have the right to change our mind. That's what makes us human. She see now a lot of stuff Kevin Samuels was saying. A lot of stuff Kevin was saying was real. It was true. Y'all know why I'm different. You know why I changed. Because I was like a lot of these women. I was like a lot, a lot of these women. I was mad. I was angry. I used to go off on people. I thought my shit didn't stink. I thought I was the cutest thing walking. If you don't want to be with me, you about to lose your life. I leave you. You're going to die. Until I got humbled. When I started getting humbled, when somebody that I met had his own he was used to things. He was used to vagina. He was used to a pretty girl. I'm all right looking. I ain't, I ain't fine, but I'm okay to be 54. He was used to all these things that he loved himself enough to say, ah, ah, ah. hold your brakes. I like your ass, but I don't like you that much. You ain't for to bring the drama over here, girl. Uh-uh. I done been through too much in my adult life to be dealing with your dumb ass. Not, no, this ain't it. Now, when you get your mind right, I like you. When you get your mind right, maybe we can come back together somewhere in life. But right now, for the focus on me, I ain't got time. That's when I start seeking help. I said, now, damn it. Hey, we ain't been dating long, and he told me the same thing that my kid's father done told me that I've been knowing over 30 years. That something ain't right. Something wrong with me. It's time to fix some shit. I started watching Love Dorsey. And the reason I chose Love Dorsey, a lot of people don't like her. The reason I chose her, because she's so... I, I'm, I'm so trio, y'all. I'm so... I'm like a thoroughbred, old school girl. So it take a lot to get up here. So I said, I need a real person to give me the business. I don't need Karen. I can't lay on Karen's couch and she got a notebook and a pad. Well, tell me what happened when you was 13. No, 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 no. I need somebody to knock me over my head because that's the kind of person I am. Hold up. Sit your stupid ass down, Nina. You mean to tell me you said this, this, and this, and you thought he was going to stay around you? I need that. So that's what Love Dorsey gave me. Then I watched a lot of Kevin Samuels because he was raw with it. Raw dog. And between them two, it was like Nino Brown and Scarface being my mentor. And I'm like, okay, I get it now. I get it now. And I start turning. My attitude started changing. Now I'm so happy. For real, I'm so happy. And the, the happiness didn't come from a man. It came from... I finally tapped into my inner happiness. I finally realized that I control my happiness. I make me smile. I make me feel good. I control my self-esteem. This is mine. With or without a man, I'm good. With or without things, I'm good. I don't need the best car in the red bottom shoes. I don't need none of that. As long as my health is fine, my kids is good, my bills is paid, and we're not hungry, I'm good. 
God had to show me when you down to nothing, Nina, when you sleeping in that car and all you had was the clothes on your back, then the car got taken. You still trusted me. I still didn't curse God. I still was good. I don't need to get on no talk show, no Kendra G or, or Kevin Samuels that I'm looking for a man. Okay, why you on here looking? Ain't no man over here. How they gonna find you a man? Then you turn around where I'm really not looking. Yes, you are. Because you're calling the show. What, my last advice I can give to you. My only good last advice I can give to any of you right now. If you single, stay single. Stop looking. Let me tell you why. The law of the universe, and I'm looking outside, y'all. The law of the universe. It's like a rubber band. You know, you put a rubber band between both your hands and you pulling it, and it's resistant, right? The more you pull, the more it resists, and the harder it gets. The universe works the same way. The more you seeking and searching and crying and begging and pleading, the more it's going to run from you. When you just chill and you find your inner peace and you trust God, you will see stuff just come to you and you must fast. Fasting brings clarity. Fast. If it's just juice, just do it for a day. And then next time, do it for two or three days. You got to cleanse your spirit, your body. That's the only way you can tap, in, tap into God and hear from God. And you have to pray. And don't tell nobody you're doing it. Because you'll get all these people talking about what you're doing. They're sending the demonic spirits over to you while you fasted. And when you fasted, your mind is open. You don't want the devil to get in your mind. So you can't be telling people, oh, I'm fasting. They talk, girl, you know that dumb ass hoe over there fasting. They're sending the demonic spirits your way. Go ahead and fast. Then tell them afterwards, girl, I cleansed my spirit. I feel so good. I fast. You did? Now they want to know how you did it. But while you're doing it, they don't believe in you. Tap into your inner spirit. You don't need to call Kendra G. You don't have to do, watch no videos. You don't need to do none of that. You do need to get some help, though. You do need to seek some help to help you along with the process. But your self-esteem belong to you. And people had a choice to change their mind. And I'm lifting Kendra G up, my sister. Do your thing. I know how you feel when you say 85% of women don't like you. Shit, 95 don't like me. They don't even know me and don't like me. But that makes me know. That let me know I'm doing something right. Because guess who else they didn't like? They didn't like Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nietzsche. What did they do to him? They beat him. They dragged him. They whipped the flesh off his bones. Because they didn't believe who he was. Then they hung him on a tree and gave him vinegar when he was thirsty. So you think they're not going to do it to me? But guess who got the prize at the end? And what did he say when they was beating on him? Father, forgive them not. They know what they do. And keep it moving. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good Friday. I will be back. Miss Lorraine, I'm hoping me and David can do a live calling and show tonight. All of you watching, I can't give you a time because my daughter baby shower is Sunday and we busy all weekend. I'm hoping I can do a call in 10 o'clock Easter Standard Time between 9, 10, or 11. I'm just going to put it there. I want to do a call in. And I want people's opinion about what's going on with Tiffany Henyard, what's going on with black women, what's going on with what y'all think about Kevin Samuels, what y'all think about Kendra G. I want y'all to call in because we're talking about black women. I want black women to be better. I want y'all to get some advice. I want y'all to be critical too. You know, just say what you feel. You have the freedom of speech. You can say what you want to say. Just don't disrespect me because you would get... The business, okay? Don't disrespect me now. I ain't, don't have me come out my soul. Just talk to me nice. 
And we're going to have a nice discussion around 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Call in. I want y'all to download Zoom. You got to have Zoom. Make sure your microphone on. Miss Lorraine didn't get a chance to call in the last two times. But Miss Lorraine, tonight, get your Zoom together. Get your grandbaby, Miss Lorraine. Because you like me. We don't know how to work these phones. And you call in. I'm going to have David where we can be like four of us at a time talking. Okay? We're going to have fun tonight. I'll talk to y'all later. Talk to you later. Bye.